been a little while since we've done a video, so we thought we'd just show off the Haltech Nexus R3 wiring loom we've just completed for a customer. running the engine fan, all the engine components like the starter, the injectors, the coils and boost solenoid and things. The ECU slash PDM is going to be mounted in the stock location tackle adapter here. You can modify your tachometer or you can use the Haltech tackle adapter. What that will do is it takes the signal from the ECU output and boosts it to a signal that the, the original gauge cluster can understand. On Haltech and Link, we have a CAN plug Customer is also using our dry bar wire conversion kit, so we've got the accelerator pedal for a GT86 here. One of the things that we like to do here is try and retain all the factory functionality if possible. Uh, an example of that would be the dash temperature here as well. We include that on the wiring loom as well. So we come into the engine bay, we've got new alternator power wiring, also got the alternator three pin plug, the starter solenoid as well. As I said, the starter solenoid is controlled off the PDM. So that comes from one of the high current outputs on here. If we come into the engine bay, we start off with our sublooms. We've got an injector subloom and an ignition subloom. And we've got them over here laid out. So injectors, customer has opted for EV1 style plugs. We also have EV14s or the stock style plugs, which often referred to as Denzel plugs. Um, so we've got all of them in stock. And how it works is you just, we can make the main loom and then we can then come back to it and plug in whatever sub loom it is that you need. So if the customer wants to change the injectors in the future, they can do that without having to make a whole new harness, without having to use the horrible little adapter plugs or anything like that. Uh, the next thing we've got is coil on plug. So you could run stock coil or quite a lot of customers go for the K20 conversion like we've got here. And that just plugs in here. Reverse plug dry by wire throttle body, engine coolant temperature. Uh, we've got built-in wideband on this ECU. So we've got the LSU 4.9 connector here. We have battery positive wiring. In your fuse box an EP82, you've got the MIDI fuses, so fuse box plugs as well. Flex fuel, this is a sensor by Celtec, but it's actually a really nice kit. They've got a nice mounting system and we've got the quick disconnect AN fittings as well, which are really nice. We can supply these two. We have two pin connector for boost. We have crank trigger only on this build. We've got your brake fluid level wired in too. Intake air temperature. We've got a ground here and a connector for the fan. Knock sensors wired as well. Yeah, any questions on wiring, any questions about wiring your own car, leave a little comment, give us a like, a subscribe, a share.